This is the next problem on half range cosine series. Express the function f of x is equal to pi x. Okay, here given problem is pi x. We have to express this function as half range cosine series on the interval 0 to pi. Here also the interval length is pi only. That's why you will get only half range expansion. Okay, particularly here we have cosine series. See the solution. So, here given that f of x is equal to pi x on the open interval 0 comma pi. So, first of all, you have to write the formula for half range cosine series. It means that you have to find out the value of a0 and an in the expansion. Okay. The required half range cosine series is f of x is equal to a0 by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity an into cos nx. Okay. Here, what is the value of a0? You can take this is equation number 1. Here, the formula for a0 is equal to 2 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x into dx. Okay. 2 by pi into integral 0 to pi. What is f of x? Given function pi x into dx. We are observing that pi is the constant term. Already in the outside we have 1 by pi. So, this pi, this pi getting cancelled. 2 times of integration of x is x square by 2 within the limit 0 to pi. Here also 2 2 getting cancelled. So, you will get only pi square minus 0. It would be pi square only. So, what is the value of a0 by 2? The value of a0 by 2 is divided with a0 by 2 on both sides. Because in the expansion, first term is a0 by 2 only. That's why directly I will find out a0 by 2 also here. Now, what is the formula for a n? Now, a n is equal to 2 by pi. Integral 0 to pi f of x into cos n x dx. Okay. Replace the values. That is equal to 2 by pi into integral 0 to pi. What is f of x? Given function pi x into cos n x into dx. So, this pi, this pi getting cancelled. 2 into here I will apply uv rule. According to the eyelet rule, algebraic term is the first function and trigonometric function is the second term. Okay. x into what is the integration of cos n x sin n x by n. Okay. Already I explained about a new uv rule. Once again I will write here uv is equal to u into v1 minus u dash into v2 plus u double dash v3 plus 1. We can continue this formula until to get the derivative of the first term is 0. Okay. Minus. What is the derivative of the first term? This is u and this is v1. v1 is nothing but integration of the second term. Okay. 1 into integration of sin nx is minus cos nx by n. Already n is there. So, you will get n square. Integration is completed. So, we have to apply limits because the next term is derivative of 1. Derivative of 1 is 0. 0 into anything 0. That's why pharma is completed with this step. So, 2 times of apply upper limit which is pi. Okay, here upper limit is pi. So, pi into sin n pi. Already you know that sin n pi value is 0 and cos n pi is minus 1 whole power n. After completion of integration, at the time of replacing the limits, we are using this formula. Don't forget it. So, pi into sin n pi, 0. Minus of minus plus cos n pi. What is cos n pi? Directly I am replacing minus 1 whole power n by n square. n square is there in the denominator. Minus. Now, it's time for applying lower limit. 0 times of sin 0, 0. Minus into minus plus plus into minus minus. Before applying the lower limit, we should write negative sign before that term. So, that's why there are three negative signs in the product. So, you will get negative sign. Cos 0 is 1. 1 by n square. So, finally, you will get an is equal to 2 by n square. n square is the common term 
in both parts minus 1 whole power n is there minus 1 so this is the value of a n finally substitute these values of a naught by 2 oh sorry a naught by 2 and a n in this term in cap a so you will get f of x what is f of x pi x pi x is equal to a naught by 2 it would be pi square by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity a n which is 2 by n square whole into minus 1 whole power n minus 1 into cos n x because in the formula we have cos n x in the product of a n after writing a n in product you should write cos n x okay this is the required half range cosine series if you expand these summations you will get to only cosine terms that's why this is called cosine series of given function on the given interval 0 comma pi in the next video i will give some more examples on this half range series thank you